All right, YouTube, here we are for round six of the challenge. We just beat Death and Taxes and a real nail biter. I've had two real nail biters the last two rounds against Miracles and D&T. So let's hope that we can get a, get a good one here. I would like to play first. I would like to mulligan. I would like to keep. I'm going to play with a stifle. That's kind of where I want to be. Um, if I was on the draw, I think I'd keep this, but So now I want to go Stifle plus Spell Pierce or Brainstorm. I don't really want to just jam my bomb. So I think I'm just going to play my Underground C and pass with holding up this combination with a combination of Brainstorm at the if it doesn't work out. Because I don't really know what we're playing. If we're playing as a combo deck, then like it kind of sucks not running my bomb out there. But I think we're going to want this Gurmag Angler. I think we're playing against some mid-range pile deck. This Daze is nice. Spell Pierce is nice. Stifle is nice. Bob is nice. It may just be the Gurmag Angler. It's either the Gurmag Angler or the Lightning Bolt. And I think it's the Lightning Bolt. I think I should have fetched. Man, I did not know. I'm gonna daze anything I can get to daze. Wasteland. Alright, so I'm playing a Delver mirror? What is this? Don't push my Bob, you bastard. Draw.
We'll daze anything here. I don't know. All right, so now we know to counter cantrips. Okay, I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna put this in play. It gives him a little bit of information, but it's better if we draw brainstorm. I have to force a baleful strix because I dazed that, so maybe that was poor. I'm not playing death shadow. I don't know if my opponent. I hope my opponent's not playing death shadow. So they, I, I get, I think I messed up by dazing that thought seize instead of piercing it, because I get beat up by um, by baleful strix now, but I have to force it. They're just going to take this, so might as well deny him the info. So do we think our opponent's playing Death Shadow? If they are, how much do we need Force plus Blue card? I think we need Force plus Blue card, but I'm greedy. I'll do this before I attack. Hello. So I can actually just go Young Pyromancer, True Name Nemesis, Volcanic Island, play True Name. And then play Pyromancer, right? Because I can do it without cracking my fetch land and giving myself the option to, and now it doesn't get hemmed. I'm going to play the land they know about. Because I can just fetch a red source of this if I need to. So I'm just going to attack. I think they're definitely Death Shadow after seeing all these Thought Seizes and the Fatal Push. Like they're angling. Okay. I was going to play this before combat. Do a little information. You got a force? You got a force plus blue card, bud? No, you don't. All right, now we're just going to sit back. Not trading my fish. I'm not even going to block their fish if they attack. Tight matches of legacy. Thank you. 
So I think we're playing against Death Shadow. Did I brainstorm lots? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to draw the Pyromancer. Force switch stuff, you got it. So we can't hard cast this member. There's likely gonna be at least a death shadow here. Okay. I mean I think we're pretty solid at this point. Okay, we're just gonna attack, play Bob, pass. This is like Ben Friedman's deck. I don't want Blast to get this deck. Opponent gets me the GG. Okay. Whew. All right. Four Bolt, not good. Spell Pierce, okay. Spell Snare, good because of him. Um, Bitter Blossom, Diabolic good. Thoughtseize, maybe. We're on the draw. Bolt's pretty medium because they only have Jace. They're not playing the Delver variant. Flusterstorm, decent, not great. Let's move it over here. Three stifles on the draw, kind of medium. Force of Will is not great against the Hymn to Torok deck, though. So I think Fluster Store, I think we want to insulate ourselves against him to Torok. Like, we could just cut all of our Force of Wills against the Hymn to Torok deck and then just go like this. I don't think that's awful. Like we have four ways. We have five ways to deal with him to Torok on turn two on the draw, not counting days. And Force Will is so bad against him. Stifle might be bad enough on the draw to cut to keep two forces in, though. All right, we're going to do that. I'm going to cut all my Stifles. And I'm going to go like this. This might be too much of this kind of an effect, though. But they have him. They're three deep in Liliana's. Like, I want answers. All right, I mean, we're just going to keep. We have a good set of threats. We can go, like, Delver into Days him. His hand's not super great, but... Two cards on top. 
I care more about this UC getting wasted than this Valk. So now it doesn't matter. I guess I should have done the other way because I have four Valks and three UCs. We won Ratchet Bomb. The reason we did that is because we can cover Liliana next turn. And um, if they daze back there, we're okay with it because it sets them back a land. Okay, you got it. You got it. We're going to go Delver plus Bloodstained Mire this turn. Put two cards on top. Start here. Opponent will likely block. Uh, we're gonna get body. We're gonna get body by Liliana here if that happens. Bye bye, true name. At least I think they might take spell pierce to land Liliana. Here comes Liliana. Oh, they're gonna hit me. Okay. Kept true name. Missed a land. I lost my land. Yes. Yes. Do I want to draw this spell pierce? It's just gonna get him next. We can we can defend against him. But they might make enough. I don't think I'm gonna draw this spell pierce. Because the land is so good because we get the true name. I'm going to hold my cards because if my opponent goes to him, flashback him, and we get to spell snare it, and then somehow wiggle through a true name nemesis, it's going to just cover all of our bases. You have to be a, a um, um, let me just hang on. Got it. Do I just give in to the him? Like if they if they just him to Torok and I play Pyromancer and they don't add to the board, what are they doing? 
I really don't want to get blown out by a deluge. I want something left over, so I'm just going to hold it. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not right. They also don't know that I drew this spell snare. Four and one. Up a game. One of thoughts is okay. Okay. Yep, round two. This probably takes true name. Takes spell snare. You know, there's two shadows. bolts or just play pyromancy if I play pyromancy do I check chase do I attack chase or do I attack my opponent Attack my opponent. Three bolts, brainstorm. Which is play pyromancer. I think I, I think getting in the three is really big. So let me go. Let's go like this. I think I'm attacking my opponent regardless here. All right. Well. I'm gonna hide this bolt. I'm not gonna play into days. I'm just going to put back. I'm going to put back Pyromancer Bolt, not play into days. And then attack my opponent. Alternatively, if I bolt my opponent, if I bolt my opponent first, they counter it, I get to kill Jace. Yeah, we're going to do that. So they counter this, I kill Jace. You too. GG's. Opponent said, well played, good luck. Well, no, so like... I'm I'm okay with my opponent like hemming me or whatever and getting rid of this true nemesis. Whew. All right. <laughs>